Uh, we're gonna do that. This one. Oh, there! I have to hold it down. Got it. Yes. I forgot. So I'm gonna try to shoot this guy with the. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Bow. Wait a minute, there's still a whole intro sequence. Hey, welcome back to the game, blah, blah, blah. Last time on Curse of Straw, because that was a funny name that I found. Uh, some motherfuckers got stuck in a time loop, then some motherfuckers came to rescue them from their time loop, and then they also got stuck in the fucking house with the fucking time loop. And last we left off, the uh, rebel was going to do something, and now we take off with their rebel. Rebel, do something! Save the day! How's that? Was that a nice intro? Here I come to Here. save the day. <laughs> I mean that my mouse is on the way. Uh, okay, so, yeah. I will roll to attack this bastard right yeah. here. Kick his ass in the face. 17 plus 6. Oh, I need to open his thing. 23, does it hit? It does! You were attempting to break a 12, which you did very well. Give me some damage. Five points of damage. Ow. Dink! Because I rolled a one. And... Um, what did you attack with? Um, my crossbow. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that part. Okay. And I will give Artie some inspiration. Yay! But it's not Artie, it's Autumn. Autumn! Whee! We got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, <laughs> how about you? <laughs> Uh, you get a D6. Go team! I wish I could, like, click on you and give you inspiration. There you go. 1D6. Yeah! Okie dokie. Uh, anything else you're I doing with your turn? All. I think that's all I can do. Then it moves to this shadow creature, which doesn't really like the fact that you attacked him and he's going to turn away from autumn and turn toward rebel take one five foot step in a set oh it's not south direction it's a west direction down direction and he's going to try is that to still grass. a thing i will take my reaction to make an opportunity attack <laughs> all right Oh, where, oh, you're up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't I also get a knockback of opportunity here? Yeah. Oh, where no, the hell is everybody? Everything. The dog is there. Chamoske's there. Autumn. Yeah. Dostoff. Yeah. And Rebels down there. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the dog. Whoever wants to roll for the dog. What do you I'll roll. What am I rolling? Uh, I rolled a two. Opportunity <laughs> attack is not enough. <laughs> yes. Oh, you got an 18. Screw you. Does 18 stop? plus two or whatever. Oh, yeah, plus three. So, uh, 21. Oh, that's a fucking hit. You kicked him in the face. Well done. Give me some damage. Sweet. Uh, 1d8 plus one. This is a D8. Yep. That is going to be nine points of damage. Wow! As he moves away, he falls to the ground. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, I, I, apparently gravity works in shadow form as well. Death marker added. Uh, he no longer gets a turn. Dink! It goes to this shadow. This shadow was asleep. Uh... Sleeping shadow I folk. Attack you! Get <laughs> Sleeping shadows, do they get a, a saving throw of some sort to escape their sleep? I forget. Uh, I, I, I think I can just... Wait. 
Yeah, doesn't, what was sleep, I using before? doesn't sleep last for like 10 rounds unless they are attacked or a specific action? Yeah, unless they're, against... they don't wake up unless they're attacked or somebody wakes them up. Somebody wakes them up. Got it. Or if I end the spell. Got it. Got it. Uh, then he skips his turn. We're going to call that round one. Chamoske, who I'm going to roll for. He, where are you, Chamoske? Oh, you're way up there. You're going to fight on this guy right here. What does Chamoske have available to him? I don't know. You can open his character sheet. I got it. I got it. I'm getting there. Hold on. Everything's a little slow. Assuming he's actually calculated it. <laughs> Spell plus zero. Uh, he's going to go with... Do, 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 do. Hey, he's going to go with Burning Hands. <laughs> Puppy! How do I roll this? I don't even know how to roll this thing. What are you rolling? I'm gonna try and roll burning hands. How did you roll a? Uh, how did you roll a spell? Uh, click on the spell. Do I just hit, yeah. hit the name? Oh, there it is. Tink. There you go. Is this a... Uh... Jesus, maybe I should have actually read his character sheet. Yeah, don't use burning hands. That's area of effect. <laughs> 15 foot cone? Oh, he oh, Jesus Christ. Fire. Oh, he doesn't do that. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know. If he just angles it right. <laughs> I'm not great with spells, so we're going to go back the other way. Hold on here. Well, I mean, if you do the fifteen foot cone so that it's uh, uh, uh so that it's basically like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna fire it mostly yeah, off into a, wall. a skeleton. <laughs> so he's wow. gonna do it anyway. Uh is this Is this to hit? Or is that just damage? I think they have to make saving throws. Or I, got, I can't remember. I know, I'm looking, I'm looking. Hold so, on. Uh, yeah, flame shoots in your direction. Yeah. Each character... Dexterity saving okay. throw. Or creature takes 3d6. Okay. Uh, where... Which one is this guy? Oh, it doesn't tell me which one that is. Oh. I can go like the turtle that. guy? No. Um, saving throw, saving throw. How do I roll a saving throw? You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. <laughs> These goddamn character sheets, man. Uh, wouldn't you just click on the stat of the saving, uh, 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 that you're saving with? I would have to. Let's try that. Yeah, like, there you go. 15, right? and... Oh, did I have to beat a 12? Wait, is 15 no, your ability, or...? Oh, wait, are, are, are you rolling the shade save, or are you rolling Shimosuke save? This is the shade. Okay. Uh, I turned yeah, off roll with advantage every time, but apparently that doesn't work with... Uh... Yeah, you're supposed to, You should be able to click the save. I don't have a save on him. Do you have a, a whole You could just go around the side and roll a d20. Yeah, okay, roll a d20. Look, I rolled a five. <laughs> All right. We're going to roll a d20. We're going to make that invisible. We're going to roll d21. Two. That's full fucking damage right there. Yay, death. And then I said 3d6. <laughs> Is that correct? Yep. Oh, I think that's what the 12 was above when it said Burning Hands 12. I think that was the damage, but... Oh, is that the damage? I, I, it could be. Yeah, I think... Well, then we're going to use 12. Took... He's going to go down by Oh, yeah, 12. it says rolling 3d6. You got 5 plus 2 plus 5. That's what it says. Minus 12 to his AC. He's down to 4. Yay! Chamoske, you did a really good job. Next is this <laughs> shadow creature, which is asleep. 
and he just is going to remain asleep. Autumn, tag to you. How would you like to kill things today? All right. So, <sighs> some of these lists here. Okay. Um, attack rolls. Mm -hmm. Is it wrong that I've forgotten my deity? <laughs> <laughs> How could you? How dare you? <laughs> Who was that? What did, what did I do? You put the oh, description on you were asking me, and I clicked on it. I thought it would show me the description, but I guess it wasn't well, there. It does. It shows everyone else. Yeah, so you can add it to your ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. I want to put it on my damage die. May the burning light of uh, 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 of, uh, of Selun uh, come down upon the shade. And... Which uh, which and... shade? Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Uh, there's a sleeping one. There's a dead one. Below. Well, you. Uh, uh, I know, but basically, I'm targeting the one that is uh, that just got hit with the uh, um, burning hands. This one up here. Yeah, because he's the only one still awake. Sorry, and then you're doing what? Uh, uh, I'm calling down the light of the sacred flame. <laughs> Which, uh, let me post it in just a second, as soon as I figure out this goddamn navigation. <laughs> oh, I turned it off because I was eating. Hey! Hey, guys. And you didn't have to watch me eat a burrito. We wanted to watch you eat a burrito. Yeah, but you didn't pay me. That's why I turned the camera off. That is also true. <laughs> we we wanted to do it for free. This is a this is a digital age where I get to watch people eat for free. I demand free access to watching people eat. No mukbang. No mukbang for you. <laughs> so for detail, it's this. Ooh. Sends on a creature you can see with the range hard enough to succeed on a deck saving throw. Got it. Uh, DC is 13. Dex. Boink. <coughs> Nine. That is a miss. Give me some damage. Cool. All right. That is a five. Ooh. And that is death. Basically, eight, eight minus three. <laughs> <laughs> Bink. Now, there are two dead individuals and three sleeping ones. Uh, anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Can you do anything else to your turn? Not that I'm aware of. Dostoff. Wherever the hell you are. Oh, you're right there. Uh, you've got a dead individual above you. You have a sleeping individual next to you. You have a dog to the opposite direction. Uh, you, <laughs> you have Chamoske to your your kitty corner, whatever that's called. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use some movement down to here. Awesome. Actually, uh, actually you know what? I'm going to stand on top of that dead shade because I'm sure they don't take up much space. That's true. <laughs> then. Well, you'd get advantage if you flank it. Well, this is. You're not. This is still. Isn't this also flanking? Uh, well. No. It has to do with being engaged. Um. Yeah, two or more adjacent uh, adjacent hostiles, right? Yeah, but I don't think you can be next. You have to be flanking, like, on either side. So if he's there, I would have to be here. Well, let's take a quick look. I assume or flanking is in here. There, and he's there, then that's flanking. But I don't think if we're on the same side. You know what I mean? I would like to know what the book has to say about it. Do it. Uh, either way, I'm going to allow it this time because everybody's sleeping, and they're prone, and you should be able to do max okay. damage. Just give me... Kick his ass, you bastard. Kick his ass. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action to um, do that fighter thing where I gain hit points. Nice. 
spider thing? Oh, I closed it. Son of a bitch. Now, why would you do that? If you double click on the top of it, you can just minimize it and it kind of blurs it out. And then just double click that little thing to bring it back up. It's a lot faster. If you what? Uh, when your you character? have your when you have your character sheet open, if you double click the top bar, it will just kind of minimize it. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, the what, funny what? thing is, if I do, here's what I learned about this. Uh, if you're watching mm. the turn I... order, excuse me. If you're watching the turn order, I can do that to this, and it does not disappear on your screen. However, if I close it, it goes away for everybody. And then I have oh. to come back here and reopen it. So what I'm going to use is Great. second wind. Yeah. So I get 1d10 plus 10, or 1d10 plus my fighter level and regain hit points. Can you click it? Does it cast it or something, or no? No, you can just ban some Okay. That'll put it in the chat. Okay. There we go. <laughs> doing that thing. <clears throat> it's a bonus action. Uh, it's not a d10. This is a d10. Yeah. And that's gonna be five plus level two, so I get seven points. Give yourself back to that. Oh, yeah, what the heck? Huh. <laughs> Whoop. Does it show? Does that work? Yeah. Don't you have to do the math yourself? 15. There you go. No, it can't do work. Why does it keep? I don't know. <laughs> He's a very active guy. Just, <laughs> just stop. Ooh, look, I'm over here. No, nope, I'm over here. There it is. Okay, so it did update. 15. Yeah, awesome. Kick ass. Oh, All right, no. so you did a second wind as a bonus action, and then you have a full round action to go. I am going to target this guy right here. Awesome. And I'm going to double fist my hand Warhammer, so it's two-handed. And I'm going to go ahead and whack him. I will cast Smashing Pain. Cast kick his ass uh what is the maximum amount of damage you can do there uh one d10 plus one so 11. yeah uh, i'm gonna uh, and I have search. oh sorry what and i'm gonna action search so i'll take another turn after this oh, okay uh he's gonna take the full amount because he's prone and sleeping so it's gonna go do down he's gonna go down by 11. Oh, okay. And you have a second turn. Take it. Okay. I will do another two-handed attack on him. Yeah, I got to double fist him. Yeah. Oh, which I guess would also bring him down by another 11. Bink, bink. Bink. He was almost okay. awake. And then he was no. not. And now he. You don't want to roll for damage or anything? Roll to attack? I want no. you to kill everything. <laughs> Anything else you would like to do on your turn? So he's dead. He is dead ski. Dead, dead, dead ski. You kicked his ass, sea bass. Who's next? Woo! Bink, it goes to the dog. Who wants <laughs> to roll for the dog? I rolled a two last time. Autumn, <laughs> you can roll for the dog. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> What are the dog's abilities? I don't know. Let's see. Chomo Chomo. Oh. Character sheet. He has Iron Man armor. You're Iron Man. I'm Iron Man. Um, I don't know if I ever put it in there. It doesn't look like I did. Uh, if you open up the regular player's handbook, I I based it all off of the the dog there, the hound or whatever. It's I, I see the character sheet. I'm just yeah. Uh, just, I didn't just, I didn't eh. enter in all the stuffs. 
I just got the basics. Uh, I believe asshole. it was a bite attack, and that was like one d six. Is it a, is it a mastiff? Yeah. All right. Periwinkle. <laughs> is that the new dog's name? Periwinkle? No. <laughs> no, it's a color. Oh, is that what it is? Like puce? I changed, I changed the color of my little logo thing. And oh. on my screen, it's purple, but on his, it's blue. That's weird. It's weird. Yeah. What color is it on yours? Purple. Okay. Well, there's something wrong with my work laptop. That's <laughs> purpley. That's not purple. That's blue. Hold on. Oh, that's purple. Ooh. All right. So I'm gonna say. Ooh. Chomo, chomo. <laughs> Ferocious. Jesus Christ. That's more like a, more like a chihuahua sound. I think. <laughs> It's a very high pitch master. <laughs> high pitch master. Do you, I mean I can pretend there's somebody outside walking and hope will start barking if we need sound effects. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you know, there's a way I, I can do this. <laughs> and then I am going to bite the sleeping shade. Don't do it. Uh, uh it wouldn't be a roll, it's still max damage. What is max damage on a bite? Uh, max damage on a bite is 1d6 plus 1, and if it is a... <sighs> this isn't a creature, this is an undead, so this is... never mind the rest. Yeah. I, I assume creature is like actual creature creature. I, I think creature so. just means whatever you're attacking. Well, GM? Uh... I want to hear the creativity the coming out of you. Uh, do the extra thing you wanted to do. So basically, it's if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 11 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. It is oh, already knocked prone. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was a total of uh, D6. Can, can, can it be double prone? <laughs> 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 I think only only if... Um... Oh, can, can Chomo... Do, wait. Can, can Chomo crashes him into the floor that's like double prone, you know, like <laughs> he's part of the floor now. Well, it's like so, so I mean, here's my thinking that is totally unsupported by any D D rules. <laughs> Chomo Chomo hops on the back of the shade, bites the leg, pulls the leg up against or pulls the bottom of the shade's cloak or leg or whatever up against it and basically pins it to the ground, thereby double uh, uh, <laughs> thereby double uh, proning it. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, but that's a grapple check. <laughs> We're gonna say what was it? It was a it was a D six plus one, correct? Yeah. We're gonna knock him down by seven, and then we're gonna give him an additional. Come on. There we go. He also has that now. He is he is trapped. And what else can we got here? Oh, and he's slowed. And um. <laughs> But he's not dead yet. Yeah. Oh, I can scroll down here. Look at all this extra crap. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, he's also very surprised. And he has a grenade and some wings. And he's a Jedi. Wow, that's a lot of crap. He's just all the stuffs. That's your lack of feeling, Shade. You don't know <laughs> if this is true. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, which uh, shade is he on? He's on... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm assuming he was on this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, no. no. I, 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 I'm, gr I'm specifically grouping up on the fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, that was Chomo Chomo. It goes to shade way up top, which is dead. Shade down below, which is dead. Rebel, would you like to have another turn, young lady? Indeed. Let's see. Because while I recognize we are still in combat order, essentially what we're doing right now is curb stomping each of these one by one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when he, when plan, it comes right? to this that guy's killing turn, us though, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, next will be that guy's turn, and because you interacted him with him, he gets a, a yeah. saving throw of some sort. What was it on the sleep? Uh, wake up. Uh, yeah, I think he just wakes up. Oh. Here's sleep. So he is awake and prone. That is what we know currently. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. But he needs to use his movement getting up. <laughs> and he currently has a dog sitting on his wait, face. Wait. Oh. So just. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Never mind. We'll just click it twice. Doesn't standing trigger attack of opportunity? What did I do? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it triggers attack of opportunity. I wanted to, like, roll actual dice. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Well, all right. <laughs> a, I don't know if uh, it would trigger an attack of opportunity. Um, you were already prone, so the process would make it possible, I guess. Uh, secondly, either one of those uh, to hits will hit. You were looking for a 12. Okay, well... I do either six or seven piercing damage, I guess. Cool. I didn't mean it, but I did it. Let's take it. Seven. Dink. Minus. Seven. He's down to two. Um, I don't think I can do any of these as bonus actions. Uh, is anybody... Does anybody look... Okay, so they actually have to move out of our reach for the attack of opportunity. You Just standing up doesn't trigger. Got it. Got it. No, I'm okay. Oh, do you so need he... to be healed, uh, Adam? I mean, uh, yes. I'm at not. I'm at nine hit points out of twenty-two hit points at the moment, and I haven't had a chance to throw a heal my, uh, on myself. <laughs> I think... Heal you for five. How about five? Yay! Thank you, my pretty friend. <laughs> Plus oh my god, my hand's writing. I, I thought I wrote, now is the hairy fart. The hairy fart? <laughs> Apparently my P looks like an F. Now is the hairy part. <laughs> you sound like you have a problem with your downstairs there. Your P looks like yeah. an F. It does. <laughs> uh, is Rebel doing anything else? For, uh, anything further? <clears throat> Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so it goes to yeah. this shadow. Like Hold on a minute here. What was going on with this? Oh, that shadow is dead. Okay. And then it goes to this shadow, which is him. Um, he doesn't like the fact that you just hit him and he's prone and this dog sucks and he's going to use this shadow stealth and he's going to try and hide, which is, uh, oh god, it doesn't even tell me. Huh? He's trying to run away. He's trying to run away. He does not like the cut of your jib. Uh, I guess hide would be a dex. Whoops. Is that seven out of twenty, or that's a uh, that's advantage or disadvantage? Um, I thought I've removed that option. Apparently, it did not remove. Why did it show high action and bonus action still? Bonus improved to plus six. So instead of a seven, count that as a thirteen. Um, if you you know what? We're going to say, yeah, he doesn't like it, and he is going to disappear. I'm just going to take some pink. He runs away from the battlefield. He runs away, or he appears to run away? He runs away. Uh, he being at two, I think he was at two health, he, he runs away. Okay. Save himself for another day. Uh, it goes to Chamoske. Oh, which I'm rolling for. Uh, Chamoske is going to do. Uh, I don't know. 
firebolt. <laughs> Let's see, dead, 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 gone. He's going to move over here. Actually, he's going to move over here. He's going to step right over that guy, and he's going to... Bleep, 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 bleep. Pick up the bones from the skeleton stained to the wall and beat the last one to death with the uh, with the uh, used bones. <laughs> yeah, you got to beat him to death with a pelvis. <laughs> A fiery pelvis. That's hot. Proficient <laughs> damage round. Jesus, I don't know how to read this thing at all. Does he not have any kind of melee weapon? Arcane. Hey, look, Wait, a quarterstaff. He? He's a sorcerer. He doesn't do melee. He's got a quarterstaff on him. We're just going to... No? Okay. Oh. Fire bolt, burning hands, magic missile, quarter staff. Did you you just click it, and then he does it? He didn't do the quarter staff. But, All right. How do I? Jesus Christ. Look. See, fire you click. Oh. See how I did that? How did you do it? Where is that? You just you, just, you click the word. But it's down below. It didn't do anything. Quarter staff. What do you mean? There you go. I just clicked See? it again. It didn't do anything. Oh. What am I doing it, wrong? Does it highlight red? I don't know. Oh, I'm hitting oh, the wrong part. There it is. There you go. There we go. I was hitting the wrong part. Can we take Rebels roll? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, three bludgeoning. You got it. He's going to take... Minus three. Uh, he wakes up. Dink. And he is still prone. Goes to... Sh oh, it goes to him. Uh, he's going to use Fucking his... Fucking firebrand. Huh? I said, fucking firebrand. You idiot, don't you know how to hold action? You idiot. Uh, he's going to use his turn to stand up, his full round action, and he's going to not be prone anymore. And it goes to Autumn. Kick his ass. Yeah, we're just going to move along. <laughs> All right, so. What are my options here? <laughs> As a, as a DM, I'm trying to speed this shit up. That's fair. And as a player, I'm trying to slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> so if we put the orb in the statue again, does it reset another five shades? I don't know. Don't touch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It. it doesn't say. Let us take a rest first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so steal my glance. I spin from the uh, from the shade that just disappeared. I turn to the uh, uh, to the now awakened shade, and I drop into a, uh, a, a, a into a gunslinger's pose and whip out a tiny hand crossbow <laughs> and send a bolt flying. <laughs> I need a whole set of like, what are they called? Like, <laughs> Sound soundboard? effects. Yeah, I need a soundboard. Say hello to the afterlife. I'll get there. I'll, I'll talk to you when I get there. <laughs> Say hello. And I just rolled completely off the table. Oh. <laughs> I'm using a freaking dice tray, and I still managed to bounce out. Of it. <laughs> Alright, so that is with inspiration. <laughs> so that is thirteen plus six plus one. Is that to hit? Uh, that's a dirty twenty to hit. What? A dirty twenty. Oh, I hit. thought you said thirty twenty. I was like that that's too many numbers. Uh that that fucking hits him. <laughs> he takes that bolt right in the eye. Uh, if he had case, shadow uh, eyes, give me some damage. Uh, that's a seven. Dink, 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 dink. 
He's down. I just, I just imagine there's a tiny crossbow bolt sticking out of the shadow in its forehead. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's he's got a unicorn now. <laughs> and where are you? You're over there. Uh, anything else you would like to do with your turn? Um, I would like to pick up a handful of dust if there is enough to do so and toss it at the uh, shade as a marking methodology. Ooh, lovely. Uh, yes, you do exactly that. It does not obviously get in his eyes. That would be some sort of attack, but it does cover him. And unlike his friend, he is now being able to be seen uh, as he disappears, if he were to disappear. <laughs> Which I don't think he's going to have a chance to, but it's it's a fantastic idea. Uh, from there, it goes to... No goes monster down, left behind. Kick some ass. Okay, so first thing, what I was going to do, uh, the one that was in front of me that disappeared... Can I make like an investigation to see if I if it's still there? Yes. Okay. Uh, I need you to. What did I say earlier? I, I think it was a thirteen. Was his hide? Um, investigation. Uh, twenty. Oh my god! Yeah, you see him instantly, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you exactly where he is. Dink, dink. He's up top. He went through the wall and is going in a direction that should not exist. But you can see well, through I, the wall? I, I can see him through the wall. <laughs> Did you train under a master named 47? <laughs> All right, so there's some plot hole there. Just ignore the plot hole. I'm adding, it's canon. I'm adding X ray vision. Yes, X ray vision. What are you? Are you human? Oh no, you're uh, a, you're a turtle. turtle. That's right. Yeah, turtles now have X-ray vision. They see only in red and X-ray, infrared and X-ray. I'm Cyclops from the X-Men. <laughs> you're like Predator. <laughs> Wait, Cyclops can see through stuff. I thought he just burned through shit. No, he just sees the red. Oh, he sees red. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Oh my God, that's it. So a turtle's vision looks a lot like the Virtual Boy, where everything looks kind of 3D and distant and close, but it's all outlined in red. I'm, I'm dating myself here, but is it, if, every, if anybody here knows what the fucking Virtual Boy is, then that's fucking funny. I wanted one of those so bad, but that she was so. Expensive. Oh, I wanted one so bad. Yeah. It would have um, been like really living game. Anyway. Sorry. Yes, uh, you. In fact, your X-ray vision now sees him appear in a place where he is no longer uh, where. Uh, attackable. Yeah, uh, a place that was not. There should be a wall right there, right here whoops i moved the c whoops i did it again shit how do we do this All right here yeah the, yeah this ball? uh this hold on i can actually do gm layer hold on here i can show you shit how do i do this oh it's right click layer know. token there we go. You see that C there? There's a C there. It stands for Concealed Door. Congratulations, your X-ray vision found a secret. Um, oh, it's a concealed door. Huh? So you found the door. You found, so I, you I found, found yeah. the door. You found, you, yeah. Plot holes! Plot holes, sorry. I'm only a mediocre writer. Just kidding. <laughs> and th this is going to be a really difficult thing, because once we open that door, there's basically a drop down onto the stairs. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you remember my character. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen. I'm going to rush through the door. <laughs> And try and do a leaping attack on it. <laughs> There's a gentleman over here that is still alive and has six hit point left and passing through his mm -hmm. sphere of uh, whatever it's called. He's going to get an it's opportunity attack on you, attack on you um, which is done. Hold on here. 
which is done like that. He tries to hit you with a uh, strength drain. Think. Does a 16 hit you? No, it doesn't. Ooh. He misses entirely. Please continue on. Give me some, uh, give me your attack on this guy up here. That's right. <laughs> Naruto runs right past him. Does a 14 hit? Believe a 14 it! 14 does. Give me some damage. Sweet. Uh, that's going to be three bludgeoning. Ooh, it was just enough. He was unaware <laughs> that you were going to pop out of nothing and kick his ass, and he's down to minus one. He is deaf. Dink. Dink. And as a quick little bonus action, I'm going to shout, I found some stairs. <laughs> oh, really? We hadn't noticed. Stairs. <laughs> it goes to Choma Chomo, the dog, which is there. To be fair, these are proper monsters. I probably shouldn't be so cocky. <laughs> 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 what did they say in, in the Family Guy Star Wars? He was like, don't be so penisy. <laughs> this has nothing to do with genitalia. This is all about the rooster. <laughs> Leaving isn't an option. I know. He was trying to leave. <laughs> I stopped him. Uh, who is rolling for the dog? I guess it's my turn for the dog. You want to take the dog? Right. Yeah. So uh, I think in the, this puppy here, they're probably going to attack that guy with a bite. Is there no, why is there no leg urination acid damage spell? We need <laughs> that. We need the. It marks him so you can find him if you yeah, like, Yeah, it's like it's a marking. Hunter's mark. <laughs> <laughs> You went that way. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, what did we have? What does it have for bonuses to hit? Uh, Arth, did you say one d six? Was that right? Uh, 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 eh, uh, I'm just gonna open back up. Uh, so sorry. Bonuses to hit. So bite would be strength, unless I'm very much mistaken. And strength is a plus one. Cool. Okay, so he rolls an eleven to hit. Ooh, that is a negative. Oh, wait, he has advantage. Oh, yes. That's much better, because that's a modified 20. Whoa! Yeah, that's total hit. Give me some damage on that shit. Uh, two. Could have done better there. <laughs> He's down to four. Uh, it goes to Shadow that is dead. It goes to Shadow that is dead. It goes to Rebel! I never turned out an opportunity to strike a monster. And then I'm gonna pull out my crossbow and I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> this guy. You get 14 plus 6. Oh, okay. Nice. Or 19 plus 6. Either way, I'm assuming it hits. <laughs> That's a hit. You were aiming for a 12 there. Give me some damage. 28 plus 4. 7 plus 4. Yeah! It's still 5. <laughs> he is down to negative 7, and on that note, he dies. He expires. Everybody expires. And guess what? Yay! No more initiative. You are out of initiative. So now I ask you the next wonderful question. What do you do now? Uh, do, are there I'm, bodies left behind, or do they just, like, disappear into nothing? I'm going to say bodies. I'm going to start searching through their, their bodies. Fantastic. Uh, roll me. This is a very, very dangerous encounter, and I'm going to prevent it from ever happening again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. Sorry, continue. Uh, 
Well, we're not popping back up at the front gate, so today is a good day. Uh, you find hey, 15 silver pieces all together on all of them. Because that makes so much fucking sense. Hey, nothing's free, not even death. Not even death. All those, it was those, uh, it was the, the coins they put on the eyes. You just stole all those. They no longer have the ability to cross over. Oh. Yeah, you're such a, no. what the fuck? <laughs> Don't be a dick. Let them die in peace. Um, in loving memory of Choma, who is not here, I will arrange two of the bodies to make it look like they are doing inappropriate things with each other. Is this something that we do? Yes. He yeah. made two suits of armor. Can you move them all around? Right. I don't know if you can move them around. I have a, it was a joke. No, we're going to okay. do this. I'm going to start playing music so we can take a rest. Yay! Here it is. Oops. Let's do... What is this time at? Have what thing? Is a rectangle Sorry, I'm trying to delete it. Thank you. Oh, okay. I thought I did something. <laughs> oh, that was me. Sorry, give me one moment. Uh, while you guys are healing and all that, give me one moment here. Tracks. I am, however, yeah. I'm well, we're healing. Tuckered out. Maybe we should take a rest for a bit. So you can use your hit dice to give you more hit points, uh, and then you get an extra 1d6 for hit points if you lost any. Yes, I lost. I am also going to use one hit die for that purpose. And you get an extra d6. I I heard. Thank you. <laughs> that was the wrong tone for that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so eight. That means I'm back. Wow, I just got back up to max. So did, so did I. I nailed it right on the head. I needed eight, and I got eight. Well, I got seven. Well, I needed uh, seven, but I got eight. Does anybody know if Shimosuke needs hit points? Sorry, that was my... Uh, no idea. I also I don't, don't know. know. I don't know if Shimosuke is actually tracking his hit points. I don't think Shimosuke took any damage. Uh, current hit points 15, I'm going to say he does not need it. Okay. So if you're curious what these little circles are... Yes. I, while we're resting, am going to grab a femur from each of the skeletons around the uh, side, break them off at the bottom into a sharp point, pound them into the ground, and write in Dwarvic Runings caution on each and every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm basically driving it in uh, around the statue. <laughs> so nobody touches it. So you're not, you're not going to keep this orb that you poked. You just want to warn others. But is there's just an orb? The statue holding an orb. He touched the orb. Oh. I mean, um Did you grab the orb? No. You no, just he just, went, he just poked it. I mean this is in case anyone else comes here. If we want to do anything further with the orb, I'm fine with that. I just don't want anybody else wandering in and doing shit to the statue or anything like that. Because nobody else should have to go through this. Yeah. And I don't know if touching it again will cause more chains to appear. It's too loud. Should we ask to drop the dog? Sorry, say it again. Hey, should we take your orb? Should we ask Stroud, the dog, if we should take his orb? Who's Stroud? The dog. Remember, the dog was actually Stroud in disguise. Oh. You mean Stroud? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Whoever the main guy is, that guy is. <laughs> or the cursive straw? Cursive straw. Oh, straw. Well, shoot. Uh, so. The place you went down. This is as far as I've gone. This is as far as oh. I've gone. Oh! 
all unexplored territory from here on out. Can I actually do an arcana check on the orb? Yes. Please do. <laughs> I'm actually trained in this. <laughs> That's a 22. I am specifically looking to see whether or not this orb is of any further threat. You recognize instantaneously that it could in fact be used as an arcane focus, but it itself is non-magical. It is also worth 25 gold. Uh, that you would be able to... Does this do anything for you? I take the orb. <laughs> A wise choice. Orb is pocketed. Please add to your inventory. Uh... <laughs> the whole thing starts all over again. Um... Oh, Chamuske! <laughs> Not you, Chamuske. Oh, no, wait a minute, what was I? I'm thinking of the dog. Sorry, he's over Chum, here. Chum. Wow, how does Chamuske sound? He says, uh, he says, yo. What's up? I... No, my friend. Go ahead and torch it. Oh. Yeah. Hey, he's going to come off of an <laughs> intelligence like two here, and he's going to take a couple of steps <laughs> downward. Stand next to the dog. He's actually going to push the dog off to the side because he recognizes that you made a, a cautionary thing right there. And then he's going to he's gonna hold out his hands and he's going to say some magic words, which is uh, Kamehameha. And the thing goes up like a, like a torch. Kamehameha. <laughs> his hair starts flying backwards. Rocks lift up into the air. Vegeta comes out of nowhere. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you go from here? You found a concealed way, a concealed path. I did, but while the while the statue is burning and I have light on my mace, I'm gonna go check out this room. Fantastic. Because I've never been here before. What is that? That is 33. Move it down the field. Uh, in this room, a chandelier is suspended above a table in the middle of a room. Two high backed chairs flank the table, uh, which has an empty clay jug and two clay flagons atop it. Iron candlesticks stand in two corners, their candles long since melted away. Are there any torches or anything along the walls that are not lit? Negative. Okay. Uh, I see what you're attempting to do there. Um, let's see what's back here. Leaving isn't an option. What's on the table? Candlesticks. Uh, an empty clay jug and two clay flagons atop. Oh, on the table, iron candlesticks stand in the two corners, uh, which would be the two corners of the room, which would be up here. And I think the dog is standing on the other one. Yeah. Is there anything in the jug, or just they're all empty? Empty. Uh, I'm assuming evaporation is still a thing in this realm, and it, whatever was in there is no longer there. Or somebody drank it. Maybe Can, it I, was inspect Sorry. Can I inspect for residue? That's Can a, I inspect for yeah. residue? Sure. Uh, 
That's a... An eight. It is empty. Okay. With an eight, it looks like it once had something in it. That something is gone. Uh, it might. That something might have been water. <laughs> that something might have been liquid. In which case, I'm going to stand over it and sort of dribble a little bit of spittle into it. Gross. <laughs> Are you doing that thing like in Beavis and Butthead where you like you stand up on the second floor and you get the loogie that goes way down to the first and then you slurp it all back up? You oh, just a little bit. <laughs> that is disgusting. We'll, we'll clean it later. So uh, where do you go from here? Do you do you keep these things? You pocket them. I mean, this is this is the equivalent of Skyrim, where like, really, you're gonna take every jug in the entire game, really, all the plates, no. really. I'd never be able to find someone to sell them all to. They all run out of money too fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do you go from here? Where is everyone? Everyone's there. I'm gonna check out this little back bedroom. You go Thanks. into. The cult leader's quarters. Ooh la la. This room contains a large wood framed bed with rotted feather with a rotted feather mattress. A wardrobe containing several old robes, a pair of iron candlesticks, and an open crate containing thirty torches. And a large sack with fifteen candles inside of it. At the foot of the bed is an unlocked wooden footlocker. I'm gonna look in the wardrobe. Take some robes. Robes. Take some robes. Uh, several or rolled robes. So I'm assuming there's at least two. There's at least a plural there. Um, a pair of iron candlesticks. Do you want these as well? No, I, I won't do anything with them. Does Dostoff want the thirty torches that are there? Uh, I am going to grab a torch, and I'm going to suggest everyone else grabs a torch, because there's no light down here. No, unless well, you have... You're, you're... Well, yeah, currently... I have light on my hammer, yeah. Yeah, you've got light on your hammer, and I've got dark vision. <laughs> so you're okay. I... Can, you birds... can birds see in the dark? I think so. I don't know where... So it's just... It's it's just the two initial. It's just Shimosuke and Dostoff that have a problem. Okay. All right, what I'm about to do is going to look very, very strange. Pay it no mind. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to hop up onto the bed and start rolling around, but not just to start rolling around. I'm actually specifically trying to feel for anything hidden in the mattress and I'll also be like grabbing the pillows and checking them. The You plop down on the mattress. Uh, the smell of the rotted feathers is much more putrid as you get closer to it. Wait for it. Uh, a dust cloud mm -hmm. plumes upward. You feel nothing story of my life <laughs> <laughs> your black heart feels nothing yes that is the extent of that I'm sorry um, it's fine <laughs> uh, are there any candles or well oh, I would like to do an investigation check on the walls for any switches, pulleys, or levers and stuff. So if there's any candlesticks on there, I will break them in the attempt to see whether or not they're actual switches. <laughs> no, no. So people with dark vision, you can see in darkness, but those with low light vision can d distinguish between colors instead of seeing shades of gray. So I can see colors. I, I You can just straight see in the dark. Basically. I can still make out words or symbols. Would you like a perception or uh, or an investigation check? So I can see twice as far. Neither. 
uh, from your perspective, you do not, um, though the walls themselves do not contain any kind of, uh, anything odd, anything that stands out to you as, as being, uh, different. I'm not explaining this right. Um, there is no indication of secret switches or otherwise along the walls. That. That is what I'm attempting to say, exactly. Thank you for translating. Um, is there anything is, under the bed? What is ultimately listed was the, the wardrobe and the footlocker. And that is what's going on in this room. Was it, hey guys, should we check out that um, staircase that I found? Should we travel deeper into the dark, dank dungeon? I think yes. <laughs> yes, give me a direction. Think... Down? Where is down? Down would be over yonder. Or sorry, I I I, I think what we're talking about is this, this, stairwell, right? this stairwell. This stairwell here. So you go, you pass through. Uh, basically, it is an ordinary, albeit rotted, wooden hidden hidden wooden door under a layer of clay. This is what you experienced. Um, the door pulls open to reveal a stone staircase that climbs 10 feet to a landing that goes to where the fuck are you? Let's do the treasure hole. Hooray, we found it. <laughs> we found the dungeon. Where's the dragon? Dungeons or dragons, pick one. 35, 32. God damn it. Are we not? Hold on here. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Use. Oh, I'm it's this one. I apologize. Uh, the staircase ends at a landing with a six-foot high ceiling of close-fitting planks with a wooden trap door set into it. The trap door is bolted shut from this side and can be pushed open to reveal the den from above. Allow me to show you where that leads. It leads back up into the house? It does. It is like a shortcut, but could only be accessed from this side. Come on, load. Uh, way down Someone. at the bottom of this map, you are now going to see a letter T. What is that noise? Is that me? What? Way down here. Does everybody see where I'm pinging? Yes. yes. Okay, so that is where you would exit. You pop your head up there and see the den on the first floor. I can't move. Here? Yes. Move your ass. <laughs> I'll go back up there. So yeah, oh, instead of going... Here. Instead of going in a downward direction, you found an upward direction. Okay. So we're here now. Uh, by the T? If you want to be there, or you could be there. Where's there? Uh, back in the basement. Oh. oh. So are these not actually stairs? They're linked. They are stairs. They're, they're stone stairs that lead up to a, a trap door. Oh, so they lead up. They don't lead down. Okay. Correct. Correct. 
um, I needed a I needed a direction. All right, so I'm trying to remember where did we come out? It was 22 that we came out. Yes. And then went down and over. Yes. And no, as you were passing by this general region in the center, uh, you heard the chanting coming from your that direction. Your this direction. <laughs> that wonderful <laughs> chanting that was enveloping this world, this realm. I forgot about the chanting. I know. I'm sorry. It's supposed oh, to be a, a thing. Oh, did we take a short rest to regain our health or strength? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if means you... I'm back up to 13 and plus 3. Or plus 1. If you are, looks like you're aiming down the stairs, which is great. Uh, if you zoom out on your map, excuse me, you're actually, you would be popping out down here. Do you see me peeing? Pe not peeing. Are you peeing? I'm peeing. <laughs> Ping it again. Oh, I, I see. Okay. Yeah. Where? Uh, down. Down, 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 down. Got it. I need to zoom out. Yeah. So, we'll be here. Okay, so we're going to be there. Yeah, I don't know. We're mm. further down. No, that is this is this is the stairwell you okay. pop out of. Choma Choma, come. And then this is thirty-five. The reliquary is what you are entering into. Uh the ghostly chant. It fills this room, whatever that sounds like. Uh, a dozen or so voices saying over and over again, he is the ancient, he is the land, he is the ancient, he is the land. Uh, the cult. Chamusco, why are they talking about you? <laughs> he sounds like blues. Uh, the cult amassed several relics, quote unquote, that it used in its rituals. This, uh, these worthless items are stored in thirteen niche, niches along the walls. Um, I could read every single one of these off to you if you'd like, but well, they are first of all, worthless. Have we actually entered into the room yet, and are the cultists in the room? There. <laughs> So right now we're still in the stair in the staircase. You are still in the stairwell. Uh, no, there are there are. Bleh, excuse me. You hear this chanting. He is the ancient. He is the land. It is emanating much more loudly from this room. There are no beings inside of this room. I'm gonna go ahead and stealth up and sneak. Forward very slowly and cautiously. To where? Over to this way. Wait, so you're entering in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone dies. Well done. Cautiously. Right. Yes. So yeah, I can roll stealth. Huh? Um. There's an image. So you're standing at that one. So as you pass by this niche, niche, whatever you want to call it, this is a... Uh, this has a small wooden coffer containing a dire wolf, a dire wolf uh, withered tongue. As you pass by this one, you notice a shrunken, shriveled head of a halfling. And as you pass by this one, 
you notice a six inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy its arms crossed over its chest I don't think I'm describing these things correctly but you know what it doesn't exactly give me an order so that's what you have uh, the oh, wait. dire wolf shrunken head tiny mummy yeah we're gonna just make it make it loop like that uh, the southernmost tunnel which would be oh which would be this one over here slopes at a 20 degree angle into murky water and ends at a rusty portcullis this one uh, you don't see much going on from your direction it seems to it seems to curve at this area here you would have to enter uh, in and die. Way, oh, sorry. Is there is there any way that I can tell how deep that water is? Uh, first, you would have to move over that direction, and secondly, I would actually like to take a look at all of the alcoves. I did it. Fine. First of all, but yeah, take care of. <laughs> to answer the first question. The murky water appears to be about two feet deep. So, what is that knee height? So, not not enough to submerge myself in. But certainly yeah. enough to hamper movement. Uh, secondly, Autumn, you are standing at the very first one. So, this top bit here, going around. Keep in mind, I am going to be doing this cautiously, and I am going to be checking any panels that I step onto for traps. <laughs> Fantastic. And I, I do have to go to the bathroom, but before I go, I am going to look back at them and say, don't touch any statues. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, before you go to the bathroom, wait, wait, wait. Uh, why don't we take a, a total bathroom break? Okay. Um, okay. When we get back, I'll start describing the, the things in this room, and um, we'll move on. We'll move forward from there. So let's take let's just take a full break, and I'm gonna stop this.